Out on the Bering Sea, the wind screams, a relentless force that never seems to rest. Here, the ocean is a living, breathing beast, its icy waters churning with power and unpredictability. The horizon is often lost in a blur of snow and spray, and the cold bites through even the thickest layers of clothing. Waves crash over the deck with bone-rattling force. This is the office of Alaskan crab fishermen, a workplace defined by chaos and danger. Every day these crews step into a world where nature is in charge, and survival is never guaranteed. These men and women face one of the world's most dangerous jobs, risking everything for king and snow crab. Each season, they leave behind families and comfort, drawn by the promise of a big catch and the thrill of the hunt. The stakes are high but so are the rewards, if they can outlast the sea. Their silent partner, the crab pot, a massive steel trap weighing up to 800 pounds. It's a simple design, but it's the heart of the operation, a tool as iconic as the fishermen themselves. These aren't your average crab cages, they're industrial strength, built to survive crushing depths and violent storms. Each pot must withstand the pressure of the deep and the battering of the waves, all while holding its precious cargo. Without these steel sentinels, there's no crab, no payday and no reason to brave these waters. The pots are more than just equipment, they're a lifeline, the difference between success and disaster. The entire industry relies on the simple brilliance of a metal box. It's a testament to human ingenuity, how a basic design can unlock the riches of the sea, year after year. Crab pots must be strong, smart, and reliable. Failure isn't an option when you're miles from shore. Each pot is carefully inspected and maintained because a single weak link can mean lost catch, lost income, or even lost lives. Today we're diving into the world of the Alaskan crab trap, how it's built, how it works, and how it's evolved. From the welding of steel frames and shipyards to the careful rigging of bait and lines, every step is crucial. Over the decades, these traps have been refined and improved, shaped by hard lessons learned on the open sea. It's a story of ingenuity and survival in one of the harshest workplaces on Earth. Out here, every decision matters, and every tool must earn its place. The crab pot is more than just a trap. It's a symbol of resilience, determination, and the unbreakable bond between fishermen and the sea. Every crab on your plate began its journey in the cold, dark embrace of one of these remarkable steel pots. From the depths of the Bering Sea to dinner tables around the world, the story of the crab pot is a story of adventure, risk, and the enduring spirit of those who dare to fish these legendary waters. Before the era of steel pots and high-tech gear, crab fishing in Alaska was a completely different world, one defined by raw determination, ingenuity, and a deep respect for the unpredictable sea. The earliest crab fishermen braved the frigid waters with little more than wooden boats and simple tools, relying on skills passed down through generations. Native Alaskan communities who have fished these waters for centuries used baited lines and handmade nets crafted from natural materials. Their methods were shaped by a profound understanding of the tides, the seasons, and the habits of the crab. Every catch was a testament to their patience and knowledge, and fishing was as much about survival as it was about tradition. Early traps were small, often made from wood or woven reeds, functional but fragile and limited in what they could hold. These traps required constant repair, and a single storm could destroy days of hard work. Yet for decades they were the backbone of the local fishery, helping families put food on the table. As the world discovered the delicacy of Alaskan king crab in the mid-20th century, demand skyrocketed. Suddenly, fishermen needed tougher, larger traps that could survive deeper, rougher waters and bring in bigger hauls. The answer was steel, a material that would revolutionize the industry. Welders, often fishermen themselves, began building square steel pots. These new traps were big, heavy, and brutally effective, able to withstand the relentless pounding of the Bering Sea. The shift to steel pots marked a turning point, allowing crews to fish farther from shore and in harsher conditions than ever before. These steel traps could take a beating and still come back for more. They held more crab, lasted longer, and made it possible to fish in places that were once unreachable. The Bering Sea's icy waves and fierce storms were no match for this new technology. The shift from wood to steel wasn't just about durability, it fueled the rise of a commercial powerhouse. Suddenly, Alaskan crab fishing was no longer a small-scale seasonal pursuit. It became a booming industry, drawing in crews from all over the world and transforming coastal communities. 
Each season brought new tweaks and improvements, better entrances to lure in more crab, stronger mesh to withstand the elements, reinforced corners to prevent breakage. Fishermen became inventors, constantly experimenting and adapting their gear to outsmart both the sea and the crab. Every storm, every haul, every broken trap taught valuable lessons. The design of the crab pot evolved with each challenge, shaped by the relentless drive to catch more crab and survive another season. Today's modern crab pot is the result of decades of hands-on innovation and hard-earned experience. With advanced features and rugged construction, it stands as a symbol of the industry's progress and resilience. The crab pot is more than just a tool. It's a product of necessity, ambition, and the relentless spirit of those who make their living from the sea. Each one tells a story of risk, reward, and the never-ending quest for a better catch. The steel pot became the backbone of the Alaskan fishery, a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of generations of fishermen who dared to dream bigger and fish farther than ever before. In the unforgiving waters of the Bering Sea, a crab pot is far more than just a piece of equipment. It's a lifeline, a symbol of hope, and sometimes the only thing standing between a crew and disaster. Out here, where icy winds whip across the deck and waves crash relentlessly, every tool must earn its place. The crab pot is the heart of the operation, the silent partner in a high-stakes game of survival and profit. The square design of these pots isn't just for convenience, it's a matter of life and death. Stacking them securely prevents deadly accidents on a rolling slippery deck, where one wrong move can mean injury or worse. Each pot is carefully lashed down, forming a fortress of steel and wire that keeps the crew safe as they battle the elements. Efficiency is everything in this world. The crab season is brutally short and every minute lost is money slipping away. Crews work around the clock, racing against time and tide, knowing that a single delay can cost them their catch and their livelihood. Every movement is calculated, every task streamlined, because out here, hesitation is the enemy. A well-designed pot is a marvel of engineering. Its entrances are crafted to let in only the biggest, most valuable crabs, while clever mechanisms keep them from escaping once inside. The design is the result of years of trial and error, innovation born from necessity and experience. Beneath the waves, water flows freely through the mesh, carrying the irresistible scent of bait far and wide. This scent trail lures crabs from the ocean floor, drawing them into the trap. The pot becomes a beacon, a promise of food in the cold, dark depths. But not all pots are created equal. Poorly designed or damaged pots waste precious time, burn through expensive fuel, and sap the crew's energy, luxuries that no one can afford in these harsh conditions. Every repair is a race against the clock, every empty hall a reminder of what's at stake. Yet it's not just about catching more crabs, it's about catching the right ones. Regulations demand that only mature, legal-sized crabs are kept. The rest must be carefully sorted and released, ensuring that the population remains healthy for future seasons. Sustainability is at the core of modern crab fishing. Escape rings and mesh panels are built into every pot, allowing juveniles and females to slip away unharmed. This isn't just good practice, it's essential for protecting the future of the fishery, so that generations to come can continue this way of life. The best pots strike a delicate balance, ruthless efficiency paired with a deep respect for conservation. They are the product of constant innovation, blending old wisdom with new technology to maximize the catch while minimizing harm. These pots are more than just tools of commerce, they are guardians of the resource, silent stewards of the sea. Each one represents a promise, to harvest responsibly, to respect the ocean, and to provide for families back on shore. Every pot dropped into the churning sea is a negotiation, a wager between human ambition and the unyielding rules of nature. Success is never guaranteed, and the ocean always has the final say. Behind every pot is a story of engineering ingenuity and relentless adaptation. Welders and designers work tirelessly to improve each trap, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the quest for survival and profit. In the end, it's a simple steel box that keeps both fishermen and crabs in the game, a testament to human determination, ingenuity, and respect for the wild, unpredictable sea. A modern king crab pot is a seven-foot steel cube built to survive the Bering Sea. Its welded steel frame is wrapped in heavy-duty mesh, tough yet flexible for handling. Weighing up to 800 pounds, it stays anchored on the ocean floor, resisting fierce currents. 
Inside, the pod is divided into two sections, a parlor with tapered tunnels and a main holding chamber. Crabs enter through one-way tunnels, drawn by bait, and can't find their way back out. Every weld and material is chosen for durability. Rust and failure are constant threats. These pots are built by people who know what the sea demands. They're not just boxes, they're machines, engineered for survival and performance. Each pot is an investment expected to endure years of brutal work. Catching crab is all about bait and instinct. Fishermen load bait, oily fish like herring or squid, into containers at the pot center. Ocean currents carry the scent, luring crabs from the seabed. Crabs find the pot, search for an entrance, and push through cone-shaped tunnels. Once inside, the one-way design makes escape nearly impossible. The two-chamber system keeps crabs moving deeper, away from exits. Pots soak for days, then are hauled up by hydraulic winches. The catch is dumped onto the deck for sorting. It's a simple, effective system, using crab instincts against them. Decades of refinement have made the crab pot a masterful hunting tool. Crab pots are designed to trap, but they also have a built-in escape plan. Regulations require a biodegradable rot cord. If a pot is lost, the cord decomposes, opening an escape hatch. This prevents ghost pots from killing crabs and other sea life indefinitely. It's a simple, effective safeguard for the ecosystem. Regulations also mandate escape rings and specific mesh sizes. These features let undersized and female crabs escape, protecting future generations. Sustainability is built into every pot by law and by necessity. The result, a fishery that can endure season after season. For years, crab pots barely changed, but now technology is transforming them. Lighter alloys and advanced composites are making pots safer and easier to handle. New mesh materials reduce bycatch and last longer. GPS trackers and sensors help crews find pots quickly and avoid losing gear. Some systems even monitor conditions inside the pot, optimizing soak times. The future? Smart pots that could release non-target species or adjust buoyancy automatically. Technology is making crab fishing more precise, profitable, and sustainable. The classic steel pot is getting a high-tech upgrade. The future of crab pots is driven by technology and environmental change. Smart traps with cameras and sensors could let crews check catches remotely, saving time and fuel. Remotely operated escape hatches could release non-target crabs instantly. Climate change is shifting crab habitats demanding new trap designs for different depths and seabeds. Ropeless gear could protect whales by eliminating vertical lines. These innovations are still developing but the direction is clear. Tomorrow's crab pot will be smarter, more adaptable, and better for the ocean. The spirit of innovation is alive and well. The Alaskan crab pot is more than steel and mesh. It's a symbol of ingenuity and grit. Forged on stormy decks, every feature tells a story of survival and adaptation. The pot's evolution mirrors the fishing industry's balance of tradition and innovation. Today's traps are sophisticated, blending ancient principles with modern tech. The quest for a better trap is never-ending, as the ocean and industry change. The future depends on collaboration and creativity, tools that catch crab and protect the sea. So next time you see King Crab, remember the journey, the storms, the crew, and the steel sentinel below. The Crab Pot is a masterpiece of design, connecting the wild Bering Sea to your table.